Aiden here, back for another Ethernotes Oatmeal Stout review. Um, today's, or tonight's, is the Stranded Scotsman from Oatmeal Coffee and Coconut Stout, 5.2% from Megaton Brewing. So Sean, your beer's up. Unfortunately, I've just taken this straight out of the fridge, but I'll uh, get first impressions and I'll go and chill out for a while and enjoy it and throw a few marks down. Pretty sure it's come off the keg, so I'm just going to let it rip into here. So, uh, I know it's not a stout glass once again, but I'm using these glasses all the way out all the way throughout and just to give them all the same same opportunity really sorry if you can't really hear me it's pissing down outside cyclone cook is on its way through and we're in for a hammering hopefully the other brew tubers in New Zealand uh, have battered down the house battered down their houses and everything it's okay up there. I think they're getting hit first and then it's going to be us so we'll see what happens. Right, let's get a nose on this bear. First of all, let's check this out. It's looking super good. Black as with, can you just catch it? Real nice little ruby browny hue just around the edge of the glass there these glasses are actually quite good for showing that off around the base you can see the light shining through so that's it's quite good actually it's mean it's got a nice little head poured it up pretty well right from the get-go and it's kind of just sitting there tight little bubbles mixture actually of tight and large bubbles but tanny in color Right, we'll, we'll get that nose. Right, I'm getting that co I'm getting that coffee on the nose, which is great. I'm getting good roasty uh, malt flavors as well, aromas. Sorry. Coffee's really coming through. Hopefully that's what uh, you're after, Sean. Kind of a toasted, toasted note. I don't know if you toasted the coconut. But definitely the coffee, which is um, really inviting. Right, I'm going for a first sip. Wow. Man, all those flavors that are in the description are coming through. Well, I've got them all. I've got the coffee. I've got the roasted barley been the big roasty malt. I've got small hits of coconut. I've kind of got a creamy mouthfeel. They're all blending in so nicely actually. But you can still pick them all out. Right, I'm not going to give too much away just yet. Alright, I'll head off and I'll write down a few things about this and I'll be back. Cheers guys. So I'm back again with Sean's beer. 
final thoughts. This is the top, yeah. I really enjoyed it, Sean. Um, the coffee notes just blended into the roasted notes perfectly in my mind. Um, look, as you can see, it's still even got a little head there. I haven't been shaking it around or anything. The aroma is just punching out of it still. Um, yeah. I won't go into it too much, but all I can say is that um, you've smashed it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to brewing this one in the future, if that's saying anything. Um, I know you said it had coconut in it, but I couldn't quite pick it up. I don't know why. Um, it's probably added to the overall experience of this beer, as in the body, the flavour, the mouthfeel, but um, I never actually picked it up really anywhere in the flavour or aroma. I can taste it. I can smell it a little bit of toast. But um, it's kind of like Kalua to me, but in a very, very good way. It's so smooth, I couldn't get enough of this, and I've had to hold on to that just for this final video. Right, that's it from me. I'm going to try and get another one done. Catch you later.